Welcome back. It's a competition based on strength, speed, balance, endurance, etc. Austin's Fittest Challenge will crown Austin's Fitness Elite. And joining me today is our fitness expert, Cody Butler, along with strength and conditioning specialist. She's also a test designer, Diane Vivas, to talk about the competition. Thank yeah. you guys both so much for being thank here. You. Yeah, thank you. Austin's Fittest Challenge. This is a two-day competition, right? Yeah, this is, the, this is our third year doing it. Mm -hmm. um, in the previous years, it's been a single day. We've gone to a two-day this year because the demanding's higher, and yeah. uh, it gives us an opportunity to have a great individual competitive day on day one, and then all the teams are competing on day two. Yeah, it, it caught on very quickly. As you mentioned, this is only the third year. Yeah, exactly. Talk about some of the challenges that are out there. Um, it's fantastic because it goes everything from upper body power with a med ball toss to lower body power with a vertical jump. I mean, you've got your 40-yard dash, which that's exciting to watch because some people have never done a professionally, mm -hmm. you know, gun start <laughs> 40 that, you know, is just exhilarating and the, the fans love it. All the way through to your burpee challenges, your pull-ups, and it finishes at the end with a um, one-mile uh, one run. So the best part of it is everything across the board in athleticism gets touched at one point or another yep. and not one single athlete. Right. Your power athlete, your endurance guy, right. girl, gal, what, you know, is not going to basically dominate. You've got to be good at everything. Well, that's, that's, you know, what you're envisioning in your yeah. head as Austin's fittest person may not be who wins the challenge and right. what, what you have pictured in your head. Yeah, exactly. Somebody may picture like a big, you know, muscly guy, you know, being able to power through a, um, the med ball toss. But right. that same guy has to excel at a pro agility shuttle. He's got to be able to do the uh, interval endurance run. Mm -hmm. So um, it's great for those, you know, competitors that want to get out there and really prove it to themselves. But mm -hmm. also, we've got all levels out there. We've got a great span from 19 to 70 plus. Wow. People getting out there just to show their own baseline and, and just show how much fun it is to uh, see what their personal benchmark is, so to speak. And, and awards for different categories, right? Exactly. This was originally designed uh, as Austin Fit Magazine put together the 10 fittest people in Austin. But there was no real competition involved with that. So mm -hmm. we put this together to really get it, you know, be able to get out there and say, I'm one of Austin's 10 fittest. So the male and female within each age category, mm -hmm. that's who make up the 10 fittest. Cody, being a, a personal trainer, what about these challenges is, would be, uh, you know, tough in well, your eyes? Well, I was one of those 10 named about four years ago, and right. I've, I've seen some of these competitions that happen, and I, and I don't know if I could have <laughs> kept my title, but I had to have gone through some of this. Um, but as she said, you know, I love the diversity, and not only is the age range, yeah. um, but when when you think of the fittest, you're going beyond just the physical appearance, but right. down to all the things that we think about in the health mm -hmm. and fitness industry that make someone yeah. fit and healthy from mm -hmm. your balance, your reactive, you know, all of those things involved are so important. So I love the fact that this contest um, really encompasses all of those things. Is, is, it an, is there an area that is more challenging to you than others? Um, I would say probably the run. Yeah. That yeah. even even though if it's a sprint, I'm a little slow starter, so I know I would <laughs> right. I would fail miserably at that one. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we should say, uh, you know, Diane pulled a lot of these uh, events mm -hmm. from your previous experience with combines, right? Absolutely. I was on the Under Armour Performance uh, Advisory Council, and we were looking at what we did with different sports as that was growing, and we applied that to fitness and really looking at how do we look across the board at what it takes to be an overall athlete. Mm -hmm. Um, that can adapt to several kinds of training and be durable. So, Austin's Fittest Challenge, uh, it is what, May 31st and June 1st. Correct. Out at Camp Mabry. Two days. Once again. So if yep. people want to get involved, how can they register? Absolutely. Go to afmfittest.com. There's still some time. There's a few spots. Uh, for a limited time, we're going to keep it open for those few uh, spots that are remaining. Um, but it's going to close pretty soon. Yeah. And uh, and that's it. And so come Just on out. Just a few out days to left. Yeah. Gonna, and if you haven't started training for this year, there's always next year. Maybe we can right. do a team next year. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> right. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.